good. So we're talking, and I'm actually holding the thing that I need to talk to <laughs> in my hand. Here, it's connected to your finger. Yeah, it's connected to my fingers. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mark and welcome to the final chapter of the subfloor saga. So Tanya is not with me tonight. She actually flew uh, up to New Jersey to help my father with some of the recent flooding they have there. So she's taking care of that. I will be joining her tomorrow when we're done with my daughter's volleyball game. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm planning to put the furring strips back down in the van. So to prepare, I've already gone ahead and I've swept, vacuumed, and I hit the floor with a solution of simple green and water so I know it's nice and clean. My next job is to take the furring strips and lay them back down. So I've got a little diagram that shows me how they're supposed to go. I'm going to lay them down, make sure everything fits right. I've still got a couple to put in some of these kind of weird areas back there, so I'll cut those as well. We'll lay them in tonight, tomorrow morning, first thing. We turn them around, we put some adhesive on them, we weigh them down, and I'm gonna probably let it sit like that the whole time I'm in New Jersey, give it a lot of time to cure. When we come back, we'll put the insulation in, and then we'll put the plywood on top of it. And a little change, I know a couple videos ago I talked about using the pink XPS insulation, and I think that's still good, but we've decided to go with Havelock wool instead. We got a shipment of that the other day, we really like it. Uh, it's environmentally friendly. It doesn't have the, quite the R value that the pink stuff has, but we just feel better about using it in the van. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use that, and we are excited to finally get this project moving, so let's get started. So luckily I was able to use most of the wood that I had before. There were a couple pieces that had kind of gotten a little wonky over the last week. Like this piece right here had gotten really uh, warped. So I had I went ahead and got rid of it and I put two pieces in its place. The only other thing was here in these corners, I had these weird sections where the floor starts to raise up. So I ran this on my table saw and I beveled one edge and then it sits flat, nice and flat there. So everything has a nice edge. The, oh, oh, the one other place where we made a change was right by the sliding door. So this piece right here, um, I had this right up against the edge, right up against here, but I've kind of realized if I move it in a little bit, it seems to sit a little more flat and it's a little more rigid. So I'll glue it in this way. And then this edge that I have here, this about half inch will be nice. I'll just be able to put some trim on that later and give it a nice finished look. Anyway, I'm done for the night. My neighbors are tired of hearing my saw. So I will be up early in the morning and we'll get this done and I will see you then. Welcome back to our channel. Today is a big day. Yep, it's actually the next morning, but five days after the next morning. So we went to New Jersey, did what we had to do, and now we're back. So our goal today is to glue down all these furring strips um, and then we'll lay some uh, plywood on top of them and put some weight and let it sit for a few days. So what we're going to use is Sikaflex 221 for this. I've done a bunch of reading and it seems like this is kind of the best stuff to use for camper environments. Uh, super strong, um, stays flexible because it's polyurethane adhesive. Um, it's really great for weather resistance and things like that. So we'll use this. It's not the easiest stuff to find. You probably have to Amazon it and it's not the cheapest stuff either, but it is really good. So we will use this. We'll get the subfloor. We'll get the furring strips down. Weight them down, and that is our goal for today. So let's get started. Let's get started.
So when I started this job, I told Tanya, this is going to be easy. We have nothing to do today. We just got to glue down some wood. Easy. <sighs> Everything takes longer and is harder than you think. But we're done. Um, so the plywood is sitting on top of the furring strips. The furring strips are uh, glued down to the floor. And we've taken everything we could find on our neighbor's property and stuck it into the van to weigh it down. So we're going to leave it like this for a few days. And then we'll take it off, lift off the plywood, put down some insulation, and then screw the plywood down. And the subfloor will be done. So we'd like to say it's the next morning, but it's not. It's not even morning. And it's like two weeks later. We had to go out of town for a while, but we're back. And we are almost done. So we have spent the day working on the subfloor here. We went ahead. We gave the neighbors all their stuff back. We lifted off the plywood. We stripped down and put uh, put strips of Havelock wool insulation in here, which is a bear to cut, by the way. So make sure you've got some kind of sharp knife because it dulls the heck out of everything. But it's really nice to work with. Um, in a couple places, because of the dips we have in the floor, we had to put some wood shims. We basically laid a big level across, not, not because of the level part, just as a straight edge. We put a big straight edge across made sure everything was nice and straight, shimmed it where we needed to, and now we're going to show you what we did with the plywood. Tanya has spent the better part of the day painting all this wood with this kills mold killing paint. She did an awesome job, so now the only thing left to do is to screw this with that into there, and we are done. So what we've done is we lay the plywood down on top. We draw a line from one end of the joist to the other one so we know where to screw along. And then we're going to go ahead and use 1 and 5 8 inch deck screws and attach it. And we should be good. The subfloor is done. I sort of expected we'd hear angels in the hallelujah chorus, but I don't hear it. This job took forever. It took probably like four weeks. It was mostly because of the, the problems we had with the floor. We should have really done a better job when we first bought the van to make sure the floor was flat, but we had to work around it, which is why we've taken three episodes and all this time to do the floor, but it's done feels really solid. Um, we're happy with the way things went. We started out with 1x2s and XPS insulation and later we moved that to 2x2s and have a lock wool. But it feels real sturdy and we can move on with the rest of the build with a solid floor underneath it. So thank you for joining us through these three grueling episodes. We'll be back later this week. We've got some more windows to put in. We've got the Max Air Fan and a few other jobs we want to get done um, in the next week. So we'll be back. Hope you'll tune in. Uh, feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Subscribe if you want to follow along and we will see you soon. Bye.